Problem 346. Determine the area of the quadrilateral shown. OB is equal to 80 centimeters. AO is equal to 120 centimeters. OD is equal to 150 centimeters. And the angle is 25 degrees. So, ang required dito is yung area ng quadrilateral na to. Para makuha natin yung area ng quadrilateral na to, kailangan muna natin makuha yung area ng bigger triangle na to. Tapos, ililess natin yung area ng smaller triangle na to. Ang area ng quadrilateral natin is equal to area of the bigger triangle minus area of the smaller triangle. So, given na OB is equal to 80 cm, AO 120 cm, and OD which is 150 cm. Angle natin is 25 degrees. And yung OC natin is unknown. So first, kunin muna natin yung value ng OC natin. Using the law of second. Two second segments are drawn to a circle from the same external point. So, yung product ng AO and OB is equal to the product of OD and OC. So, AO times BO is equal to DO times OC. Substitute natin yung values para makuha natin yung value ng OC. 120 times 80 is equal to 150 times OC. 120 times 80 is equal to 9,600 is equal to 150 OC. Dividing both sides by 150, OC is now equal to 64 cm. So, meron na tayo lahat ng values ng kailangan natin at masasolve na natin yung area ng quadrilateral. Area of quadrilateral is equal to, yung formula ng triangle natin is equal to 1 half AB sine theta or 1 half side AO times side OD sine 25 degrees minus 1 half side OB times OC sine 25 degrees substituting the values we have 1 half times 120 times 150 sine 25 degrees minus 1 half 80 times 64 sine 25 degrees 1 half times 120 times 150 sine 25 minus 1 half times 80 times 64 times sine 25 area of the quadrilateral is equal to 2721.66 square centimeters so choices Letter A ang tamang sagot. Problem 347. A quadrilateral have sides 12 meters, 20 meters, 8 meters, and 16.97 meters. If the sum of the opposite angles is equal to 225, find the area of the quadrilateral. So same lang to sa problem 345, na given yung sides ng quadrilateral 
ay yung sum of the opposite angles. Given tayo ng sides which are 12 meters, 20 meters, 8 meters, and 16.97 meters. And yung sum of opposite angles which is 225 degrees. Ang area natin for equilateral is equal to square root of semi-perimeter minus side A times S minus B times S minus C times S minus D minus A, B, C, D cosine squared theta. We're in yung ABCD natin are the sides of the quadrilateral. So first, let us solve the semi-perimeter. Semi-perimeter is equal to the sum of the sides A plus B plus C plus D all over 2. Substitute natin yung given sides. Semi-perimeter is equal to 12 plus 20 plus 8 plus 16.97 all over 2. 12 plus 20 plus 8 plus 16.97 all over 2. Semi-perimeter is equal to 28.485. And yung angle natin is equal to sum of the opposite angles which is 225 degrees over 2. Angle is equal to 112.5 degrees. Substituting all the values, we can now get the area of the quadrilateral. So area is equal to square root of Twenty-eight point four eight five minus twelve times twenty-eight point four eight five minus twenty times twenty-eight point four eight five minus eight times twenty-eight point four eight five minus sixteen point ninety-seven minus 12 times 20 times 8 times 16.97 cosine squared 112.5 degrees. Area is equal to square root of 28.485 minus 12 times 28.485 minus 20 times 28.485 minus 8 times 28.485 minus 16.97 minus 12 times 20 times 8 times 16.97 Cosine 112.5 squared. Area is equal to 167.99 square meters or approximately 168 square meters. So choices, letter C ang tamang sagot. Problem 348. The area of a regular hexagon inscribed in a circle of radius 1 is blank. So, hahanapin natin dito yung area ng hexagon. Sa illustration, meron tayong hexagon which is nasa loob ng circle. Let's say, ito yung gitna natin. So, gagawa tayo ng triangle. Yung side ng Triangle natin na to is equal to the radius, pati din to. So this is 1, and this is also 1. And kailangan natin makuha dito yung 
ang goal natin. So, sa hexagon na ito, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Meron tayong 6 na triangles. Ang area ng hexagon is equal to 6 times the area of the triangle. Ang area ng triangle natin is equal to 1 half AB sine theta. Area of the triangle is equal to 1 half times radius times radius sine theta. And yung angle natin is equal to 360 degrees divided by the number of sides which is 6. 360 over 6 is equal to 60 degrees. We can now solve for the area of hexagon which is equal to 6 times 1 half 1 times 1 sine 60 degrees area of hexagon is equal to 6 times 1 half times 1 times 1 times sine 60 area of hexagon is equal to 2.598 sa choices letter C ang tamang sagot problem 349 find the area in square centimeters of a regular octagon inscribing a circle of radius 10 centimeters so same lang to sa problem 348 Pero, ang ginamit dito is a regular octagon, which is an 8-sided polygon. Meron tayong 8 na triangles. And yung sides ng triangles na to is equal to radius and radius, which is 10 cm. Para makuha natin yung area ng octagon, Ita times natin yung area ng triangle sa 8. So, area of octagon is equal to 8 times area of triangle. Area of the triangle is equal to 1 half AB or R squared sine theta. Yung angle natin dito is equal to 360 degrees all over the number of sides which is 8. 360 over 8 is equal to 45 degrees. So substituting the values, you can now get the area of octagon which is 8 times 1 half times 10 squared sine 45 area of the octagon is equal to 8 times 1 half times 10 squared times sine 45 degrees area of the octagon is equal to 282.84 square centimeters. So, dun sa choices, 283 ang pinakamalapit ng sagot. So, letter A ang tamang sagot. Problem 350. A regular hexagon is inscribed in a circle whose diameter is 20 meters. Find the area of the six segments of the circle formed by the sides of the hexagon. So, meron tayong regular hexagon inscribed in a circle. 
and we are given the diameter which is 20 meters. Ang required is yung area ng six segments of the circle formed by the sides of the hexagon. So, tung mga shaded part na to, yung kailangan natin makuha yung area. Para makuha natin yung area ng six segments, ima minus natin yung area ng hexagon sa area ng circle. So, area ng circle minus area ng hexagon. Ang area ng circle natin is equal to pi r squared wherein yung radius natin is equal to 20 meters over 2. 10 meters. The area of the circle is equal to pi times 10 squared. Para naman makuha natin yung area ng hexagon, magpo-form tayo ng triangle. Yung two sides ng triangle natin is equal to the radius, which is 10. And, kailangan natin isolve yung angle dito. The angle is equal to 360 degrees over number of sides, which is 6. So, yung theta is equal to 60 degrees. Ngayon, nakukuha na natin yung area ng ating hexagon, which is 6 times 1 half r squared sine theta. Substituting the values, 6 times 1 half times 10 squared sine 60 degrees. Makukuha na natin yung area ng 6 segments. Area of 6 segments is equal to area ng circle which is 10 squared pi or equal to 100 pi minus 6 times 1 half 10 squared sine 60 degrees. 100 pi minus 6 times 1 half times 10 squared times sine 60. The area of 6 segments is equal to 54.35 square meters. So sa choices, letter D ang tamang sagot.